is no shortcut to wealth. If you look for a jackpot, that's what you will get, a jackpot. A jackpot. I don't want to live my life based on a jackpot. I want to win over me. Especially diba, if they are a friend, tendency, you know, parang wala, they, they are waiting for the results before they chime in. So, at this current market condition, Sir Marvin, ano yung masasabi nyo na is it the best time for them? Kasi marami pa rin hesitant because of what is happening in our country. Okay. So, you're, you're saying bakit hindi nag-invest yung millennials? Yeah. Question. Are you are you investing also? Fully? Yes, I'm investing. How big of your portfolio is in BUL? Okay, thirty. As of now, I have six BUL policies. Six BUL policies. One is single pay, and the rest are regular pay. I also invest in traditional, and I also invest in mutual funds. Okay. Di ko lang natatouch stocks. Okay lang, okay lang. So now, based on those six investments, how successful does those investments made you? Well. The single pay, I recently opened it. Okay. After but the December, it's high. Okay. The January, it became down. Then I I put it in, and now it gained, I think, more than 10%. Yun, so, ako, what, what I'll do is, ano, I'll share how it was very, very successful. Great. People need to see that it actually works. Eh. Uh, that it benefits you, that it allows you to become financially free. That, pwede siya. Uh, the reason why a lot of people are hesitant also, kasi, baka, it hasn't really been, uh, parang, they, they want to see more people actually be financially free by investments, or be financially free, or make a lot of money from investments also. So that's what, it, it doesn't happen overnight. Uh, it doesn't happen overnight that, uy, mag, okay na siya kagad. Uh, you have to remember, ako, I'm now investing for 11 years. 11 years na ako nag-invest. So how long have you been investing? Uh, since 22 years old. Ilan years yun? 3 years. 3 years. So yun, uh, there's no shortcut to do it. It will also happen over time. Yung mga hindi naniniwala sa'yo today, Ouch. Three, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 years later on, when they say things happen to you, doon siya maniniwala. Ganun talaga yun. You, can, you won't be able to please everyone, especially yung mga sa start, nakita ka nila na, oh, ba't ba't ako maniniwala dyan? Pare-pareho lang kami may utang eh. Parang ganun, di ba? So the best way to for them to see this, to see this your life before they buy anything from you, they have to buy into you first. Eh, kung yung tao, kung nakikita nila there's nothing changing, ba't ako bibili? Ba't ako bibili? How do we touch base? Uy, may kasama tayo! May kasama tayo! Okay. Para how do we... Transfer ka, transfer. Transfer, you have to... Oh, tapos you have to introduce yourself also. Yes! Oo. May gano'n, may gano'n, may gano'n. Nagka-content today ako bigla, guys. Youtubers, okay. So how do you touch base on the poorest of the poor? Poorest of the poor. By the way, who are you first? Uh, my name is Tina Liorca. Okay, you're an accountant? Yeah, I'm yes. an accountant. Yes. Accountant. Yes, I'm a CPA. CPA. Okay, go back to your question. So, how do you touch base on the poorest of the poor? Uh, when you say touch base, what's your definition of touch base? Because uh, as much as we wanted to, to teach everyone financial literacy, so we can only do so much. Normally, our uh, clients are on the middle range. But we know for the fact that those who are in need are those in the <coughs> poorest area. So I'd like to know how we can probably touch base on that. The Best way? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a firm believer of the internet. The best way to reach everyone, financial literacy on the internet. Even the low people in the lower sectors, um, the the, that's why the Philippines is a social media capital because everyone is in, is in Facebook. Everyone is in social media. So you can leverage on that, use that to 
to ano attract more people kung kung madami na dami po politi political analysts using Facebook yung mga tao nagdereklamo using politics uh, using Facebook using social media you can use the internet to you know, spread financial literacy so for me that's that's the best way kasi hindi lahat bibili ng libro ko hindi lahat atin na same hindi lahat makipag one on one sa akin pero somehow some way nakita nila sa YouTube yung video that's a start already baka you can do something you want to touch that make something Tagalog so not, not a lot of people are making Tagalog Tagalog content so yun make Tagalog content as, if you want to reach that market okay. yun lang no more questions okay let's go let's go okay. question and answer time guys these are uh, financial advisors okay Introduce yourself, uh, marital status. <laughs> what is your question? Hi, I'm Jill Mayaflor, financial advisor, unit manager of Sunlight. My question... Marital status? <laughs> Unmarried. Unmarried? So, previously married? <laughs> Not married. Okay. Bye. Hello. Shout out to Icon. My question is, Sir Marvin, would you recommend um, an unmarried, a not married millennial like me? When you say unmarried, kina sa lahat hindi naman single. Single. Okay. A single millennial like me, I'm 26, to invest in a company. Okay. Would you would you advise? When you say invest, meaning kita sa Invest one as in kita don and two as in kita. I'll move out now. Dependent, number one. How much money? Oh, let's say uh, normal, normal na millennial. Okay. Normal na millennial. Okay. okay, so normal na it depends, kasi kung if you have the money to pay for it. Ako na lahat po sa sabi sa tao. If you can pay for it cash. Hindi mga pwede cash flow mo. Okay lang. The problem is, kung lahat ng pera mo pupunta doon, that's where you'll have a problem. As in, dapat meron kang emergency fund? Hindi lang emergency fund. Kasi, for example, bumili ka kondo, 5 million. Tapos, nag-down ka 1 million. Tapos, ipon mo lang is 1 million. You remove all of your cash just for it. Di medyo, it wipes out your liquidity. Para sa akin, real estate is for people who have a lot of cash for it. So, kahit 20 ka, 25, 55, 85, kung madami kang cash, go for real estate. Wala siya sa age, nasa dami ng cash. Nasa dami ng cash yun. So, if you have a lot of cash, that's when you go into real estate. So, how about not as an investor? As in, me, moving out? Ay, bye mommy. Huwag na muna. Huwag na muna. Stay with your parents. You want to save money? Stay with your parents. The best way to save money. Oh, naman. One best. Malayo bahay mo. Sa work mo. Hindi naman problem. Yung travel, stay with your parents, you save a lot of money. Unless, maging unproductive ka with your time. Like what we talked about seminar, the most important aspect is time. If it doesn't affect your time, your travel time, but at least, at home, everything is free. So, utilize that until you have a, until you have a point in time na, okay, baka okay na. Okay. In that case, na malayo, you advise renting. Ah, uh, if you have the cash to pay for it, tapos it doesn't affect your savings, investing, everything. Pero iba para sa akin eh. Kasi kung if you titira ka lang doon, for me ah, this investment eh. It doesn't earn anything for you. You don't earn anything from it. Matutulog lang sa matatalo ng pera mo eh. The way, the way it becomes an investment if the cash, if that ho cash turns into a house, that house turns into a cash cow. If it's not, sayang. If you're just buying it just to be dependent, para YOLO, sayang naman, di ba? Kung ibabay ka ng 5 million para doon, yung 5 million doon, pwede mong pakitain for other things. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, oh, sige. Pero para pangit dito, maingay. So, hindi ko alam kung ano effect ito later on. Okay, come back. Come, step, step into my office. Um, ano po kung mas na-advise nyo? Taking risk into going into debt or just wait for the perfect time that you have? Ako, my, my answer, wait for the perfect time. Save as much as you can. As much cash as you can. Pero you don't, you don't want to take a risk 
you are borrowing money because you don't have the cash to be able to get that. Mamaya, you're not prepared and you're just minamadali mo lang sa if if you have the money, it means that you've done something good. That's why you're earning money and you have more cash. You probably have the skills to touch it. Also. So safety first. Hindi naman safety first, pero some people who want to expand too quickly. Yeah. So why expand too quickly? Eh, what if you're not ready yet? The skills are not there. What are there. the stories this opportunity na once naman yan? That's not true. Opportunities don't happen once in life. Opportunities are things that you may happen. So kung merong hindi pumasok, there will always be more. Kaya madami din sa scam and they think that this is my one opportunity to get rich. It's not true. Eh. There's so many ways to get rich and wealth. I think that's something you do over and over and over. Thank you, sir. Last word for the millennial who keeps on procrastinating, who thinks that they don't have enough money to start. So what can you tell to them na, to encourage them? Because a lot of things that we encounter this, I don't have enough money. Uh, it's not yet my priority. They even the one you told about you talk about me, Jill. Na they even they want to buy muna condo before investing kahit sa mutual fund. So ano po yung last words nyo masasabi nyo do sa mga tao na to encourage them to invest on their for their dreams. I start now. Yeah, start now. No matter how small it is, use that money, put it, and then let it grow. Please, muna. Um, please ako the first one, two, three, four years. Uh, but that allowed me to do the things that I want right now. So what people see, uh, it's a byproduct also of, uh, I guess, mass uh, hard work also. So yeah, there's no, please remember, uh, there's no shortcut to wealth. If you look for a jackpot, that's what you will get, a jackpot. A jackpot. I don't want to live my life based on a jackpot. I want to win over me. So that's it. Bye everyone. I hope this video helps you.